So I just had one of those days where you only got a little bit of time and you want to get out and fish, but it's dead in the middle of the day, sun's high in the sky, temperature's high as it can be, worst bite, toughest bite of the day. Now when I left the house, I had a completely different game plan going in, but I worked with what I had and I put together some numbers today. It was well worth it, it was a good time and uh, a good use of a few hours. Sometimes you gotta work with what you got. I like to get after them any little chance I get and that's exactly what I did today. Check it out. This heat, they definitely moved off the banks. Don't, I don't have my wacky rig tool or my weedless hooks, but you don't really need all that. I just use the same hook as I use for a drop shot. We got this big wave of heat that came in. We got storms rolling in later today and it's the middle of the day, sun straight up. So it makes the bite tough because they're, they're definitely pushed off the bank and they're, they're somewhere else. And it's just all about locating them and giving them something easy. That's why I'm throwing the wacky rig. It's easy. It falls slow. It's easy, for, it's easy enough for them to locate. It's just that time of year. A lot like when the fall transition gets tough. Sometimes the spring transition can get tough too when you go from, you know, 35, 45, 50 degrees to 75 to 85, damn near 90. Finally got something going. Finally got something going. Yeah, they're out quite a bit deeper. Actually quite a bit deeper than I thought. There we go. Yeah, I just kind of let that one fall. Threw it, uh, threw it straight out. And just let it fall. All right, well, the tough bite is still tough, but the wacky rig saved the day. So that's how we're going to do it. We're going to have to just throw it out there a little bit further and just let it die. There we go. Two for two. Two for two. Cost me a worm, bud. But, at least I got y'all's attention now. Another little guy. I don't have my Ned Rig tool or my bands or anything, but really, I just use one of my drop shot hooks. Just use one of the drop shot hooks. And I just go up a little more from center towards the heavier end. And that's that. Yeah, it's getting a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. Yeah. Definitely not moving a lot of water, but I guess that's what it's gonna take today. Yeah. Definitely the smallest one of the day. But a little wacky rig came through. Just that simple. There we go. Yeah. Feels like a little bit better one. Well, I guess a little bit better than the last one's about it. Whew, he's a strong one. He just tore right into my hand. Nothing huge, but we're still catching him. Man, he just bit down and gave me the twist. Guess I deserve that after uh, 
hooking them in the mouth. Oh, God, God. This dude jumped you know, three feet out of the water. Threw my worm off when he did it too. Another healthy looking little fish. Man, y'all got some attitudes. Little guy, probably about a pound, a little pounder. Oh man, what are you doing out there? You're gonna get eaten. He was all the way out there. Huh. Oh boy. Quarter pounders with cheese. You know, I'm not even sure how these guys are getting hooked. I mean, that bait's almost as long as he is. Come on, stay on, stay on. Come here, buddy. A little bit bigger, not the size of a french fry. Bring him through them weeds. I love how all of them are so little, but they're fighting like they're five pounders. There you go, bud. Got in the In the weeds. Of course. All right. Oh. Mmm. Gotta lean into that one. He hit that thing like a freight train. And he's probably a half a damn pound. He did a grab and go on that. <laughs> Got a little salad with your dinner. There you have it. Keep it rolling. Click one of my other videos linked in this and uh, catch you on the next one.